Meltdowns are extremely stressful moments for autistics, and autistic teenagers are not the exception. So in today's video, I'm going to give you some ideas on how to approach your autistic teenager during a meltdown. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Maria Bord. I'm an author and mom of three autistic children. And if you would like to get more autism-related tips, please take a few seconds and hit that subscribe button and the little bell to receive notifications. Number one, keep calm. It may seem like the obvious thing to say, but when your autistic teenager is having a meltdown, it is very easy for parents to lose control because the child might shout, slam doors, and be considered rude. It is very important to have a cool, collected head and remain calm during these kind of moments so you can think clearly and you can be able to support your child better. It is not that time to get angry and try to quote-unquote correct them. If there's anything you would like to explain to them, you can always do it after the meltdown passes. Number two, be empathetic. The world out there is not always kind to autistic teenagers and there's so much pressure on them. So when they're having some difficulties, don't be afraid to offer a shoulder to cry on and a listening ear, free of judgment, so they can cry if they need to or rant. Showing empathy and not sympathy is letting your child know that they are important and they can always count on you. There is absolutely nothing more important at that moment than to be there for them and validate their feelings. Number three, respect the space and boundaries. Sometimes your autistic teenager might want to be by themselves during a meltdown so they can self-regulate. They might or might not be able to tell you this verbally so look for the signs. So if they are not engaging in self-harming behavior, give them the space and time they need to calm down on their own and let them know you are there for them if they need anything. Respect their wishes, their boundaries, listen to what they have to say and allow them to make the choices that will help them through the meltdown. Number four, don't punish them. Your autistic child is not having a meltdown on purpose. He's not being spoiled or wanting their own way. So there's no reason why they should be punished or be told that they will be punished. This is a time where your teenager needs you the most. So they need to feel loved and cared for. And a good way to show this in this particular situation is by being understanding. A good support system is extremely important for anyone. And autistics are not the exception. Number five, teach them coping mechanisms. When my sons are upset about something and they don't feel to talk because they are overwhelmed, we tell them to kindly say that they don't want to talk right now or they need to be alone for a little while. It works wonderfully because we honor their requests and when they are ready to talk, they were able to express whatever was bothering them calmly and without any problems. Don't force your teenager to answer you or to engage you when they don't feel to. Give them some time and respect is paramount. So I hope these five autism tips can help you communicate better with your autistic teenager. If you have any questions or ideas for this channel, please leave a comment in the section below. I would love to hear about you. Thanks for watching.